Hello friends and family and welcome to a another video. This is going to be a draw with me and I decided I would talk about how to improve your art because that's kind of what I'm doing right now and why I'm drawing in my sketchbook and I'll get into that a little bit later but I thought first I would touch upon the subject because I kind of feel like I've got some clout in this section because of what I do for a living and how long I've been in the art industry and going to art school and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to suggest for getting better or improving with your art is drawing every day. It sounds like a big ask, but it doesn't even have to be that big of a piece just drawing every day is so important if you want to get better at something just a repetition of the same thing and that's kind of what I'm doing here I miss life drawing I miss drawing the human body and that kind of stuff so I wanted to pick up my sketchbook and start drawing if you know by the way I'm drawing a lot of um, Asian guys that are from a boy band called Shiny. They are a K-pop band and I absolutely love them. And man, drawing Asian men is actually ridiculously hard. So I wanted to keep going and trying to get this to work. And so going with the whole drawing every day, same with practice, 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 practice. Again, sketching every day and just going with whatever you draw, like it doesn't need to be super perfect. As you can see, like really rough is kind of my jam and just keeping it rough is, is just more fun too, I find anyways. So just going with it and even if it's not perfect, just keep drawing. It doesn't need to be perfect when you're drawing in your sketchbook. And also use whatever mediums get you really excited because that will help you just find maybe a spark in something that you're working on. It's really important to just find something that you really like. So I'm using a 2B pencil here. We ended up getting these from work and they are, they're like butter on the paper. They are so nice to draw with. <laughs> Um, but yeah, drawing with something that gets you excited is super important and also using reference. So I'm just literally looking up pictures on Pinterest and just drawing from that. Uh, so just find different things that you want to study, like the face or the hands or the body or just the full body, whatever you want to do, and just keep drawing it in different positions and just try and enjoy the process. And don't worry about the outcome. Just really don't worry about that nonsense. Just draw. Style will also come with time, so don't worry about your style. I think a lot of new artists that's something that a lot of people struggle with like i don't even really care what my style looks like it just kind of is what it is and i'm just trying to put something on the page i'm just trying to really i mean for lack of a better word just barf out art that's really what you're trying to do and one big thing that one of my teachers always taught me in school and fun fact she works at pixar right now um is out of a hundred bad drawings, you'll have one good drawing. So you got to get the bad drawings out of the way. And that will only come if you practice. I know I, I'm going to be a broken record. I am so sorry, everyone. I love you, but broken record. Um, <laughs> find artists that you really like slash inspiration and find out why you really like that art. If you're really trying to find your style and break it down. I mean, you can always do a sketch or a study of their art just to find out why you really like what they draw, but not something to post anywhere, not something to say, you know, this is my art. Obviously you're using it as a reference, but also starting a Pinterest board or wherever you keep you know, your art, I don't know, do people even use Flickr anymore? Tumblr, whatever. 
And so create a folder with reference and inspo and things that really inspire you and find um, just find out different work and things like that that you really like. That is the best way to be inspired by things and just have like a dump bucket for you to whenever you just sit down and want to draw something just sit down and open up that folder open up that bucket and just pick out some random things that you really feel like focusing on to practice that day i think it's so important to practice every day um so let me think i think that these images that you're seeing i think are about two weeks worth of drawing so what i did was one spread so both sides of the page if not two spreads a day almost every day for two weeks and this was the accumulation of it at the very end there are some images that i didn't end up showing you guys because uh it was the very beginning of me drawing so i didn't actually film it and then it's actually pretty nerve-wracking to film while you're sketching so this was definitely something to uh kind of get used to doing <laughs> so it definitely wasn't super easy at first to get comfortable with drawing in front of the camera you almost feel like you always get the poopy i don't want to swear so you always get the poopy art that comes out first and you're like oh my god what the heck like the things I drew before look better than what I'm filming and then you just get so frustrated <laughs> but anyways I digress I also asked on Instagram um, for questions so that I could throw on top of this drawing segment so I thought I would do a little mini Q&A with you guys I only got a couple responses which is so much better than what I usually get so I will be answering those ones first and then literally some this one other artist that I follow she also did a q and I just literally grabbed most of her cues just for me to discuss with you guys because I'm such a pleb and nobody asks me questions so <laughs> <laughs> I'm not popular. It's okay. I don't care. Um, I'm doing this really to just better myself and my artwork. So uh, yeah, I hope you get some knowledge and some uh, awesome things from this. I'm planning on doing more segments like this in the future and I already have some ideas and things to talk about as well. I think the next segment I'll do is faces. So I hope you are looking forward to that so the first question i got was what do you enjoy the most about art that is a real tough question i'm going to say what i love most is just the process of seeing your artwork at the end and feeling accomplished with something that you created out of nothing is just so neat you know and it's just so inspiring to keep me drawing keep me going and i'm really starting to resonate with my own art and letting it speak for itself and you know the years of school and years of knowledge that i have to really fuel myself because it's so hard to look at the numbers of you know youtube or Instagram or anything like that and then feel like you know your work your hard work your dedication your years and hours of practice really mean nothing if it doesn't have a number beside it and that has really affected me for a really long time and I'm just I'm not caring anymore honest to god it's just it's a losing battle and it's almost one that you'll never win so you might as well just find the love in your work however that may be and right now my love is pencil to paper honestly and just enjoying the process of creating and not really I'm, okay, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to start swearing in these because I have a potty mouth and I think women are allowed to have potty mouths and I'm sorry if there's children watching this. Avert the ears. 
<laughs> I just don't give a shit anymore. I literally do not give a shit. So it, if you don't like what I do, then peace out. I don't give a shit. And I'm going to do what brings me joy and what makes me happy. And yeah, that is that. I kind of went off on a tangent. I love you guys. I hope you don't mind. So the next question is, what program do you use to edit your videos? I use a really, really, really old version of Premiere. I use CS6, I think, uh, because I do not want to pay for the suite because I think it's nonsense that you need to pay for something. And I do not want to pay for that to have a monthly subscription. I think a one-time purchase is good enough. And so that is where I stand. I don't care if I'm old school in that mentality. Eventually you're going to pay more than you did for the program in the first friggin' place with your monthly subscription. And they're not cheap. So, and it's like once you get a couple of them, oh my Lord, it's just, it's so much money. I don't know, am I alone in thinking this? It's just absolute nonsense. Like I've got a really old version of Photoshop too and I do not want to update. The only sad thing is it doesn't have like a vector line base. Like it doesn't have like a smoothing to it. So like when I draw with my tablet, it kind of looks bumpy with the paint brush, but you know, there are other ways around that. <laughs> All right. Next question, where do you draw inspiration from? So like I was talking about earlier, what I do is I like to, and I'm thinking about having like a full talk about this because one of my really old videos for some reason has a lot of hits when I talk about from start to finish, talking about sticker creation and where to get ideas from and stuff. So uh, I will look on Pinterest, I will find what really speaks to me. I also read the book and I have the journal, which I haven't finished. It's called How to Steal Like an Artist. And I totally am down with this because I am tired of people thinking that their ideas come from nothing. Honestly, uh, everything's been done before and I don't care what anyone says, it all has. So it's a matter of finding inspiration from you know, this artist here and that artist there and life over here and something that you just doodled in your sketchbook and kind of mishmashing it all together in one big clay pile and then creating, you know, something from that is the way that I look at it. So I'll start a pin board with a whole bunch of images that inspire me or ideas of things to draw because sometimes I'll sit on a page if I'm drawing stickers and I'm kind of tapped out and I'm thinking to myself, I don't even know what the hell else to draw on this page anymore. And then I'll look back on my inspo and be like, oh yeah, like this month because we're going into Christmas. Oh, I haven't drawn any little bits of holly yet or a candy cane or whatever, something simple like that, you know? So it's really handy to, to have your inspo board to reference back on. Okay, so, and then my husband. You're the best mom and wife ever. This is not a question, but thank you, husband. You are so kind, I love you. Okay, so those were the questions that I had on my Instagram post. And now I'm gonna go with the Q&A that was on a different artist's cues. And I will give you guys my A's. One second, I'm just gonna drink some water. <sighs> Stay hydrated, everyone, it's very important. So, do you like digital or traditional art more? That's a tough one because I like both and I kind of gave up on doing traditional art for a really long time, but there's just something, the spark has been lit again with me doing traditional again. So at the moment, I'm going to say I lean a little bit more towards traditional, but I do really like the simplicity and the ease of just taking my iPad and, you know, while baby's playing, I can pull out my iPad and let's draw, you know, so there's something to be said about that too. So favorite K-pop bands. This one, I think you guys heard me say, I love shiny. Shiny is my absolute fave, even with the sadness of, you know, the passing of of one of the singers. I still really love them. They are 
so awesome. Um, Tymon made his own, he kind of like branched off on his own to make his own album and stuff. Um, so I'm really digging his music at the moment because he comes out with like little mini albums here and there. Um, but actually it's kind of funny. So I found this one artist, um, he was part of, of okay, so Super Junior. I See, I like a lot of older bands. So Super Junior, Girls' Generation, Shiny, of course. I absolutely love them. Big Bang is, is good too. Um, so I love this guy named Kim Junsu, and he has some really good songs. So I found him, okay, the names of these K-dramas are so absolutely ridiculous. And this is, oh my God, back when we used to live in our apartment. So I'm gonna say like mm, 2013 or whatever. So there was a, one of the first K-dramas I watched was called Scent of a Woman. I know it's so, so stupid. I don't know why it's called that anyways. Um, and he was the singer on it and he just has like a very distinct voice that I really, really dig. He was originally part of a band called TBXQ and I really like a couple of his songs on that as well. But yeah, he is so, yeah, uh, Kim Jin Su is just amazing. Um, let me see. Oh, I, I like BAP Coffee Shop. That's a really good one too. But yeah, a lot of Super Junior, some BTS, everyone's so obsessed with BTS, but I'm not as obsessed with BTS. But yeah, there's some Big Bang songs that are just absolutely amazing. I superly love them so much. Um, let me see. But yeah, like, I don't know, I think that's pretty much... Yeah, Key made his own song as well from Shiny. I really like that one too. Oh, G-Dragon's also pretty rad. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm I'm old, what can I say? I like, I like older bands. <laughs> All right, let's see, what, um, what, so what did I study in school? I took, so first off, I always wanna say animation, but first off, I took Art Fundamentals, which was a one-year fundamental program, kind of like to get your feet wet. It's kind of like gas, so it's a general arts and science is what gas is. So it's like everyone takes Art Fundamentals when they don't really know what they want to do. Uh, and then from there, you know, um, you can kind of figure out if you want to stay in the arts or not. So I took it as kind of like a stepping stone to get into animation and help build my portfolio because if you didn't know, you actually need a pretty in-depth portfolio. And at the time, I had never even done life drawing in high school. I was pretty upset in the fact that I didn't feel like high school had prepared me for my college experience of trying to get into animation, you know? So um, I took our fundamentals so I could build my portfolio and do life drawing. If you don't know what life drawing is, it is drawing the nude form, um, which I absolutely love doing. I can just sit there and draw. I, it's funny because like I'll sit there and start drawing and be like, oh, I don't want to do this. And then just bust something out and be like, oh my God, this is amazing. What? I didn't know I could draw like that. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sometimes that happens. And then other times you're like, oh my God, this is garbage. I need to throw this out. <laughs> um, any tips for new artists? Um, draw from life as much as possible. Draw reference, have have images of things that you want to draw. Just, yeah, like, a, like I was saying earlier, a dump bucket for all of your art, for all of your inspiration, I should say, for you to look back on. And um, yeah, because like, the more things that you draw, it's like you have this fi file in your brain of all of these images and things that you've drawn in the past that you can pull from at a later date. So the more you draw and the more you draw these things, the more comfortable you will be with drawing them and the better you'll be at drawing them as well. So, you know, always, Always, whenever you can, do some cafe sketching, go out and draw in life if you can get the chance. I know it's getting colder out and stuff, so it's harder to go to, literally go to a cafe and draw people. Um, or yeah, use magazines or Pinterest, whatever. Um, 
How's my day been? My day's been really good. I feel like I've got not as much as yesterday accomplished, but I'm pretty happy with the amount of things I have done today. How's your day going? How to overcome art block. That is an interesting one. Sometimes you have art block for different reasons. Sometimes because of burnout. Yeah, like my husband's saying, to get yourself out of the art block is to just draw and draw anything. I'm, For me personally, I'm going to say if I was in art block, I would draw but also use different mediums to try and inspire me and get me excited to draw again. Because sometimes what can happen is if you're drawing with the same thing and the same paper or the same tool over and over again you're gonna get bored and tired of it so changing things up like i love color you know so drawing with watercolors or soft pastels something that you know is not in your roundhouse and just try something if you have the means to pay for these things of course because i know these things can be expensive but you know hubby and i we just have a collection of so much art stuff <laughs> um and any tips for creating an art account? So um, just do it. I think, and, th and this goes with anything. I, I see so many people in different discords that I'm part of be like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. I don't wanna, I want to, but I don't wanna create, you know, a YouTube account, an art account, blah, blah, blah. And honestly, the truth is just do it, but don't let the numbers and things affect you because it is so easy to just let this stuff affect you and it's so frustrating like i was saying earlier when i started the q a so this kind of tails into this question here and just do it for you and if other people come then great if they don't then that's their loss do this for your own art progression so that you can look back on it later and to see where you've come from and just enjoy the process just enjoy so I hope you guys have enjoyed these. If you want me to do more Q&As, leave your cues down below. I will collect them for a future date. And it's kind of fun to see the progression of all of these days kind of accumulated together. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Um, and if you got this far in the video, write shiny in the comment section below. I love you guys so much. Have yourselves a great day and I will see you later. Goodbye.